Hey everyone, I'm Catherine and I'm here with Dr. Bacon for another Breakfast with Bacon and today we're going to be talking about pregnancy. Pregnancy. So listen, let's talk about it really quick. We see a bunch of pregnant people in here and it's a lot of fun, but we're going to go over three things that kind of go, that go along with being pregnant. We're going to talk about number one, I'm going to start off with is energy. So energy is going to be like getting good sleep. And, and this is either before or during, kind of right while you have, while you're going through the pregnancy. And then, so, so good sleep is one. Stress is going to be another, trying to reduce the stress. The guy who kind of helped you get pregnant, maybe they need to pick up their weight a little bit. No, I'm just kidding, but they're, they're doing plenty, right? So there's a lot of things that are going on as you're doing this and dealing with this. Now, energy too, though, it takes a ton of energy to grow a human inside the female. So you got to think about this. If you're tired or run down, it's not because your body's making a mistake. It's because it's taking that energy and using it for other things. Remember, you only have one fuel tank. And so if you're using that fuel tank to beat your heart, digest your food, all that kind of stuff, right? And all those things take energy. Well, now we're going to grow a baby also. Well, okay, so now some of that's going to be pulled away. And that leads us into, if digestion takes energy, it leads us into another product that we got to pay attention to or another thing, Catherine, digestion. Yeah, so digestion is another big thing that pregnant women deal with. We see a lot of people with constipation, acid reflux, and different things that are all tied to digestion. So we want to make sure that that's working properly. Eating things like a good high fat diet, focusing on healthy fats, lots of leafy greens. A main thing we want to focus on is folate and we can think folate foliage. So getting in lots of good leafy greens, um, other things like beets, and then fermented foods like sauerkraut, kefir, yogurt, and kimchi. Yeah, I mean, think about it, right? That baby's growing in here, which is going to take space away from the other digestive area and everything else that's going on there. So it can cause it to push up, cause it to feel a little bit more backed up, feel a bit more pressure on the liver. And this is where sometimes you start to get some of those feelings of, like she said, constipation, gas, bloating, reflux, things like that. So, and we don't want to try and medicate that. We want to try and support that through nutrition. Right? You don't want to give medications because this is going to kind of also go to whoever else is in there. <laughs> so if you're taking a drug, well, guess what? Who else it's affecting? Does that make sense? Now, the last thing we're going to talk about is number three is going to be supplementation. Everybody out there has a prenatal and a pregnancy vitamin that they take. We're getting more like honed in on whole food nutrition instead of it being more about just getting a vitamin in, right? Because we know that the soils are depleted, so we've got to feed ourselves some of the nutrients that we need to get in there to help support the body. And we'll go over them really quickly. Well, energy and digestion, right? So the first one is energy. We can talk about dealing with stress. One of the products we use is Drenamin. So it's got some B vitamins in it, has some adrenal support in there, some vitamin C, all those things to really build you up to help your body be a little bit more ready to adapt to the stress of being pregnant. The other one's going to be beta food, great for fat metabolism, great for supporting the liver and gallbladder. They're beets, it's all that is, really helping that body work through, it's kind of work like a cholagog to clean out that liver and support that digestive process of the fatty foods. Because remember, do we need a lot of fatty foods when you're developing a baby? Yes. Yeah, no doubt about it, right? And so the other thing too is Zypan. Zypan is going to be like our hydrochloric acid, it's going to end a little bit of uh, pancreatic enzymes to try and break down some of the nutrients and proteins that you're putting in your body to rebuild. These are all the building blocks that you need to build a strong, healthy baby. And this is the, like, like our kind of benchmark of what we're putting in to really support that individual, that mom, who's developing the baby inside them during this whole pregnancy process. So I think this is really some good information. Mm -hmm. There's a lot going on, right? And then another thing too is chiropractic. We take care of a lot of pregnant women in here, and when they come in, remember, it's all about posture and biomechanics, right? And energy flow. Well, if you have a baby that's growing inside and things aren't moving the way they're supposed to, that baby's gonna stick forward and out. You're gonna feel stretched and bloated and tight. And it's funny, after we adjust somebody, they'll get off the table and say, what? I don't even feel pregnant. I know, and then I get to tell them, oh yeah, you still <laughs> are. But it's neat, so pay attention to some of these. And there are some posts on there already on uh, our YouTube page, so take a look at those if you're watching these here, you might have seen them. But it is really neat to see because what we do by adjusting the pelvis is it opens that pelvis up and allows the baby to sit back into the pelvis and be more centered. And that's why when they stand up, they go, wow, I feel more grounded and feel like I'm lighter inside. So, Catherine, thank you for doing this. We appreciate you guys sharing this with your friends and family. And we thank you for watching this. And we'll see you again on the next Breakfast with Bacon.